Hello, we're glad to have you back with us. This is Bob Barrow at the Wichita Falls Art Association with another Conversations with an Artist. We want to thank the City of Wichita Falls, Art Alliance for helping support us, and we're going to delve right into this now. Today, we're talking to an artist, Sandy Gant. Sandy, tell us something about yourself. Well, I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Been here in Wichita Falls a little over 30 years been doing art for a number of years and uh, just really gotten into some different aspects of art and uh, I think it's proven to be pretty successful. Now have you always done art or have you did you do something as a real job? Oh well, I had a real job. I started out in the, the cellular business years ago um, after I got my art degree then I, um, I worked briefly in the television camera business which was truly a lot of fun. Um, I had to make a decision, however, whether to stay with the creative stuff or go to the job that was paying well. So I went to the job that was paying well. So for the next 20 years or so, I was in the paying well job and not doing the art. So. All right. Now, what led you to become an artist? Or have you always just been one? No, I've not always been one. Um, I grew up in an era where musicians had, had a 78 album size and they had uh, album covers. The album covers had awesome artwork on them, mm -hmm. and that's what I looked at, and I was so um, in awe of it. I want to do that one day. I want to be an artist. I want to be able to make some album covers. Of course, who knew that album covers weren't going to stick around? But nonetheless, it set me off on a path to, to pursue art. So. All right now, what type of art do you do? We've um, got three-dimensional and 2D here. Yes, I actually do both. I paint. I use a Verdaccio style painting uh, technique which starts out with a completely covered canvas. You go back and extract out your lights, put in some darks, put in some more lights. It's a, probably about a 10 step process before I get to the point where I'm putting color on. And by the time I put color on, I mean the painting is pretty much done. But it's, it's kind of like a tonal study. Those people who do tonal studies, they know how that works. You start out with your lights and darks and you build from there and that really is about the only way I know how to paint. I would really like to change that a little bit, but this has been the most successful way for me to learn how to paint. Yeah, so, what was that called? Verdaccio style. How do you spell that if somebody wants to look it up? I believe it's V-E-R-D-A-C-C-I-O, Verdaccio. All right, I hadn't heard of that, but that, yeah. that's, that sounds very, very interesting. Um, now, where do you do your work at? Um, I am part of the 7th Street studio, which is at 537th Street. 537th Street. Here in Wichita Falls. And I actually rent the, the last little studio part before you get to the railroad tracks. And I focus on sculpture. And this is what I've been doing for the last uh, three years, I guess, is focusing on sculpture. And my goal is to have more sculpted uh, exhibits. Uh, I was doing workshops before the pandemic hit. We were teaching how to do uh, air dry clay projects and paper mache and stuff like that, but that's kind of been curtailed by the community health situation. So, but I'm still doing it. I'm still using the air dry clay and, and pursuing this part as well. All right. So, yeah. What's it? Seventh Street Studio. Seventh on Seventh Street, Street. Studio, Sculpture Side. Sculpture Side. You can. She has work in here. You also do some metal, don't you? Or I you do can. metal sculpture as well. You can see her work down there. You can see it here at the Art Association. She has a website, which is? SandyGant.com. Sandy, S-A-N-D-I. S-A-N-D-I. S-A-N-D-I-G-A-N-T dot com. Look her up. You can learn stuff from her. She does neat stuff. Versatile as all get out. Uh, so, Sandy, we want to thank you for being with us. We want to thank you all for watching. Art Battle National is coming up in... Uh, April, you all have a great day. Thank you.